brass directionality and the harmonics that drop out as you angle away from the bass. Mm -hmm. Seeing how they change, first of all, if they change, how they change, and the rate at which they do change. Um, this is mainly because uh, we both play directional brass instruments. You play the trombone and I play the trumpet. And uh, when you're playing, you're told not to point your instrument straight at somebody's face, mostly because it's really, really loud. But we were curious to see if that had any other effect on what the listeners hear. And so for our experiment, we used the anechoic chamber. We're not actually in the anechoic chamber. But in the anechoic chamber, we set up a microphone. And using a series of different pitches and different octaves, we played directly at the microphone, 45 degrees. 90 degrees, 135, and then directly back at 180. And then we compared each of those files against each other to see the differences in harmonics and what are the other pattern effects may or may not be happening. And well, it's not very realistic that you might hear a directional brass instrument from 180. Actually, we will because we're behind it, so that was mainly for us to see what we might hear. Yeah. Um, so I'm gonna end up just having a shorter song. Yeah, and an example of we actually did, we just did a series of three notes. <laughs> when he was pointing that way in the anechoic chamber, that wasn't creating a lot of sound. Um, Some of the things that we found, we did find that the upper harmonics would cut out the further away from the mic that you played, but one of the interesting things that we discovered was the formants in the actual sound spectrums that we analyzed were actually more defined the lower the pitch we played, the upper end Also figure out um, we played we played a couple of different pitches, and even though these pitches th they were different pitches and in different octaves, we noticed that the rate or th of which the the harmonics that were lost were the same for every single pitch versus when we were playing at the camera versus when we were playing away. Which for the trumpet, when from behind the bell, we lose about eight kilohertz worth of frequencies and harmonics, for, for the trombone, it was about five kilohertz. Mm -hmm. And that is a pretty significant drop, actually, eight kilohertz, it's, it accounts for virtually sound that you're just not hearing, essentially. Mm -hmm. And that, that ended up being about 15 harmonics, I believe, on the trumpet, and um, was it 20 or something on the trombone? Yeah, it was about 20. Yeah. It depends on the pitch, but for the pitches we looked at, yeah, it was, I mean, it was significant, 15 harmonics that I'm just not hearing when I'm Especially for the trumpet, versus when it was zero degrees versus 45 degrees, on one of its notes, that was a six kilohertz drop Which was right there. Humongous. So even even though like 45 degrees was still relatively pointed, what would be in this case the same direction of the audience, some people over directly in front of this bell are going to hear a different sound than the people who would be on the, on the other side of it, six kilohertz. In an anechoic setting. <laughs> yeah, I mean, in a concert hall setting, it's a little different, but yeah. it's still that goes into it's still thing. significant. Yeah. You know. um, let's see. Where to play this? Mm. Oh, all of the all of the things.
things we, uh, we discovered and analyzed. We, we noticed, I think there are about like eight significant add-ins that we noticed throughout. We all, oh, another thing. Um, the rate at which the harmonics were dropped were relatively half depending on the octave we were playing. Yeah, that's, that's true. So my, my highest note, so the highest note you played, B-flat 3, was a B-flat 3. It was, I mean, you won't be able to see me, but I'm on the screen, but it's this one. And the highest note I played was B-flat 4, which is this one. So that's an octave, which, based on physics, is uh, essentially twice as twice frequent. frequent. So the rate that it dropped out was twice as fast, which was interesting. Compared to the trumpet and trombone. Yeah. Because the trombone is twice the length of a trumpet, you know, meaning that it is an octave lower, half the frequency of a trumpet. Mm -hmm. And so the rate at which, for the most part, the rate at which my frequen frequencies were dropped were about half of what most people are playing. Yeah. So the rest of this is drawn out in our papers data and the other missing points we noticed. Mm -hmm. Thank you for your time and we hope you enjoy our presentation. Yeah, I mean, the, uh, I guess, conclusion is that yes, your frequencies will drop out. Mm -hmm. So don't put your audio mix to sleep by just replaying this. Exactly. Yeah.